Welcome to the age of cyber warfare, an age that officially began 10 years ago with a weapon that changed the rules of the game for good, a computer virus capable of disrupting physical infrastructure on the other side of the world. That virus's name, Stuxnet. 15,000 lines of code that achieved what no diplomat, spy, or conventional weapon of war was able to do, covertly slow down the uranium enrichment process in Natanz, Iran. Stuxnet was important not just because of how it changed history, but also because it opened the floodgates for an unprecedented decade of Israeli cybersecurity innovation. Each year, thousands and thousands of young Israelis are released into the wild after serving time in the IDF technology and intelligence units, just like I did. Fueled by the glory of Stuxnet and by generous investments, of course, they go on to create some of the world's most successful and innovative cybersecurity companies. But Stuxnet was also important for another reason. It showed us that we are now in a different era of cyber warfare, one where viruses are not just after our information, our passwords, our secrets. It's no longer about stealing credit card numbers. Cyber attacks in this decade are about physical destruction. They're about data manipulation. They're about attacks that we have witnessed on energy systems, on transportation hubs, on healthcare providers, with attacks like the ransomware epidemic that disrupted the United Kingdom's national healthcare services just three years ago, and even attacks on the core of democracy, the political process itself. So in simple words, the future of cybersecurity isn't about secrets anymore. It's about trust, and it's about the trust that we place in the modern digital society, the one that we wish to live in. And you know, this trust can be at risk more often than not. 200 years ago, it was German war historian and philosopher Karl von Clausewitz who said, war is simply the continuation of politics in other means. Well, it appears that nowadays in the 21st century, cyber war is the continuation of politics and other means. And in this kind of war, everybody is on the front line, not just military targets. So it is time to redraw the battle lines between companies and corporates, between cyber criminals and hacktivists. We're all in this together. It affects each and every one of us, and nobody is immune.